in counted days may be counted hours, we will be blessed to welcome a new chance in our life if Allah the Mighty allow us to stay alive until next Ramadan. Indeed, Ramadan is something big. Indeed, Ramadan is something worthy of our attention. Indeed, Ramadan is worthy <clears throat> of our hard work and planning <clears throat> for it. Allah Azza wa Jal had given preferences to certain prophets over prophets and have given preferences to places over places as he mentioned uh, as he mentioned in the Quran referring to Mecca may Allah bless, bless, bless it and referring to Bayt al Maqdis and the surroundings of Bayt al Maqdis. And also, Allah Azza wa Jal had given preferences to times. Indeed, Allah Azza wa Jal, from His Rahma, from His countless gracious bounties, had made us first of all mukallafeen inna aradna al-amanata ala al-samawati wal-ard fa-abayna an yahmilnaha wa ashfaqna minha wa hamalaha al-insan Allah Azza wa Jal have honored human and gave them the choice did not create them without a choice in their life the sun has no choice it comes out every day and punctually insert at the time of its rise and it sits on the time of its rise Allah created the mountains for a certain purpose for a certain work for a certain job created animals for the survey for serving human and have created human with the choice that choice have honored you above not only the animal and the creations of Allah have created but at certain times above the malaika themselves. So do not fail the honor that the mighty had given to you. Do not fail this chance and opportunity of being a human that was given a life in this dunya and you waste it without a purpose in your life. I created jinn and is for the purpose of worshiping me with the comprehensive understanding of worshiping to Allah Azza wa Jalla. Allah, from His gracious Rahman, had given to this Ummah multiple chances. There are days and chances and nafahat and rahamat that will be given to you. So expose yourself to it. The business people who pass a season without preparing for it and working hard on it and gaining a lot in it, then people are not considered to be successful business people. Students who did not study hard and prepare in advance and plan in their study, study life, they would not be able to achieve success in their life, whether academically or professionally later on. So there are chances that are given to you in your life. If you cease to, to take advantage from them, you will regret them. But unfortunately, regretting time sometimes does not work. There are chances, there are times in your life while you're still breathing, you're able to have a second chance. But there will be a moment. And that moment is When the time comes for you, then you cannot delay. You cannot forward because it is given to you at that specific time. Allah 
أحسن عملا إن الذين سبقت لهم منا الحسنى أولئك عنها مبعدون لا يسمعون حسيسها وهم فيما اشتهت أنفسهم خالدون لا يحزنهم الفزع الأكبر وتتلقاهم الملائكة هذا يومكم الذي كنتم توعدون الله أكبر دوس سبقت لهم الحسنى Those who have taken the husna and who have benefited from it, they are remote and far away from the hellfire. They would not be living in, in agony in the difficult day, Akbar, the big horror and the day of resurrection. وهم في مسجدها أنفسهم خالدون and they will be in the jannah in what will make them happy and entertained لا يحزنهم الفزع الأكبر وتتلقاهم الملائكة and they will be welcome and escorted by the ملائكة هذا this is indeed يومكم الذي كنتم توعدون this is the day that you were promised this is the day that you have been working hard for. You have been كانوا قليلا من الليل ما يرجعون وبالمسحار هم يستغفرون وفي أموال حق للسائل والمحروم وفي الأرض آيات للموقنين وفي أنفسكم أفلا تبصرون يا الله. We've been given the scripts in advance. We've been told in advance what works best for us. Should we be from those who lose sleep in this dunya, not playing video games, not watching silly things, not yapping and chatting and socializing for unnecessary socializing? Life is too short. In the past week, we had janazas for different age people. Tomorrow, there's going to be a janaza for a few days or a few weeks, old child, baby. This is the reality of life. A very seriously sick woman have lived, survived her husband who died after, after his own sickness. So being sick does not necessarily you're going to die and being healthy does not necessarily you're saved from death. There are times when these work with these rules of the dunya would not work with the rules of the akhirah. Therefore, be ready. Be ready to meet Allah Azza wa Jalla. Be happy and excited when the malaika will be coming to you. And you will be saying, Alhamdulillah. وَقَالُوا الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ الَّذِي هَدَانَا لِهَذَا وَمَا كُنَّا لِنَهْتَدِيَ لَوْ لَا هَدَانَا اللَّهِ وَنُرْدُوا أَنْ تِلْكُمُ الْجَنَّةُ أُورِثْتُمُوهَا بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَعْمَلُونَ Ya Allah, imagine yourself will be in the couches of al-jannah entertaining with your friends who have been with you in the path and Allah will be taking all the feelings of harshness from your hearts and you will be saying, Alhamdulillah. Praise be to Allah Azza wa Jal, the one who guided us, and we would not have been guided except for His own guidance. And you will be called, Antilkumul Jannah. This is the Jannah that you will be given as a result of what you have done in this dunya. Are we ready, my brothers and sisters? For a big chance in our life that is called Ramadan. If we are not, that we will be from those whom the Prophet made an ameen on the dua of the chief of the malaika when he said, Rahim anf, thumma rahim anf, thumma rahim anf. A curse to be given to a person who have witnessed Ramadan فَلَمْ يُغْفَرْ لَهُ Ya Allah! The chief of the malaika is making a dua on the person who witnesses Ramadan and will not be granted the forgiveness. That means that the money is available for you on the street. All you need to do is to collect it to become rich.
language. That means you are going to an open book exam. If you do not pass it, then you are a big loser. That means that this is a guaranteed chance for you. If the chief of the malaik is making the dua and the chief of the prophets is making an ameen on it, that is a big deal. Including those who will witness their parents at an old age, and will not be granted the forgiveness. And those whom the Prophet Sallallahu name is mentioned in front of them and would not be saying, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. So my brothers and sisters, my dearest children, let's cognitively be ready for this big chance of our mind. Again, if Allah allow us and give us a chance to witness it, because this is a chance where the doors of the Jannah will be wide open and the doors of the hellfire will be shut and the, 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 the major satans, maradat al-jinn, will be chained. So there is no external influence on you, negative influence on you, to be able to come to Allah Azza wa Jal. All you need to do is to be cognitively aware and prepared and ready for this big enterprise from Allah Azza wa Jal. All the work you have invested in from the beginning of Rajab will pay off in the month of Ramadan. Because on the first day of Ramadan, you will not be having difficulties to fast to Allah Azza wa Jal and enjoy an outstanding ibadah. Illa sawm fa innahu li. No ibadah was praised by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam like a soul فَإِنَّهُ لَا عِدَ لَلَا Nothing is equal to it. To be done in a prime time for the whole year, from the whole year, which is Ramadan. Ramadan is a prime month of the whole year. And soul is a prime ibadah, a combination of a beautiful time for a beautiful ibadah, therefore be from those who will be making sure that they will be from those who will be granted the forgiveness from Allah Azza wa Jal. Man sama Ramadan imanan wa hisaban ghufira lahu ma taqaddama bin dhanbih. Whoever fasts the month of Ramadan imanan wa hisaban. What's Iman al-Muhtisaban? Believing and seeking rewards from Allah Azza wa Jal. My brothers, my sisters, my dearest children, let's be unique. Can we be different this Ramadan? Let's forget about all the Ramadans we had in the past. Let's think of this Ramadan as being the last Ramadan we will be able to enjoy our life. Think of death that will be coming to you at the end of Ramadan. Think of Ramadan being 696 hours or 720 hours of chances for you to first of all seek the forgiveness of Allah Azza wa Second of all, to gain the salvation from the hellfire. Third of all, to be from those who would rise and supplement in their status with Allah Azza wa Jal throughout the month of Ramadan. Ramadan, as I said, is a chance of gaining the forgiveness from Allah Azza wa Jal. So take advantage in advance and say, Ya Rabb, here I am while I'm standing in your house in Yawm Jumu'ah. Ya Rabb, be vowing to a tawbah that I will never do a masiyah after Ya Rabb Go back to Allah Azza wa Jal. إِلَّا مَنْ تَابَ وَآمَنَ وَعَمِلَ صَالِحًا فَأُولَٰئِكَ يُبَدِّلُ اللَّهُ سَيِّئَاتِهِمْ حَسَنَاتِ وَكَانَ اللَّهُ وَفُورًا رَحِيمًا Open a new chapter in your life. Let this Ramadan be unique. Let it be different. Coming to Allah with purity, with tawbah. And put in front of you as you fast the long days of Ramadan. That this is going to be the price for your 
forgiveness of all the things that you have done in your life, and we're all sinners. No one is exempted. Because كل ابن آدم خطاء إلا التوابون. We are all sinners, and we are all expected to come back to Allah to repent us. Make sure that this Ramadan will be Ramadan. You will begin the salvation from the hellfire. Well, as Allah has just mentioned in the Quran, if your slave is seeking the freedom, you should be assisting them to seek the freedom. So, by a better token. Let be this Ramadan a chance where Allah will see you as a serious person who wants to seek the salvation, not of a freedom from this dunya, but the freedom from the hellfire. Seek the salvation from the hellfire. وَلِلَّهِ عُتَقَاءٌ مِنَ النَّارِ وَذَلِكَ كُلُّ لَيْلًا Every night, and upon your ifqaab, لِلَّهِ عُتَقَاءٌ مِنَ النَّارِ عِلَّا فِطْرِهِ Upon the time you break your fast because you have, you have Struggle throughout the day of abstaining from the halal. Let this Ramadan be the chance for you to gain the salvation from the hellfire. Let this Ramadan be a chance for you to rise above and beyond everyone else around you. The two Sahaba who embraced Islam at the time of the Prophet وسلم, together. And they lived together and fought in the cause of Allah Azza wa Jal. One of them become shaheed, and the other one survived for one more year and died in his own bed. Were both seen by Talha ibn Ubaidillah in a dream, in a rupia. The person who died in his own bed after a year of the shaheed was escorted to Al Jannah before the shaheed. And when the Prophet ﷺ was informed, he demonstrated to the Sahaba that this person who lived for another year, did he not witness another Ramadan in his life? Yes, maybe in the previous Ramadans, Allah had bestowed unto you the salvation from the hellfire. Maybe Allah Azza wa will make you from those who the sins will be forgiven. But don't you love to be from those who will be honored? By Allah Azza in the highest stages of Al Jannah. As the Prophet explained to the Sahaba that the one who died on his bed was honored before the Shaheed because he experienced and lived another Ramadan. And the Prophet further added and he said, By Allah, their status in Al Jannah, this, the difference between them in Al Jannah. Is like what between the earth and the sky. Allah Akbar. That's how much honor Ramadan can mean to you. Ramadan, also the time for us to be able to indulge into the Allah to Allah. We're all, all have problems in our life. We're so hungry, we're so desperate to the Rahmah of Allah. Let this Ramadan be the time in which we say, Ya Rabb, we've come to you. وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِ عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ ادْعُوا رَبَّكُمْ تَضَرُّعًا وَخُفْيًا إِنَّهُ لَا يُحِبُّ الْمُعْتَدِينَ وَلَا تُفْسِدُ فِي الْأَرْضِ بَعْضَ إِصْلَاحِهَا وَادْعُوا خَوْفًا وَطَمَعًا إِنَّ رَحْمَةَ اللَّهِ قَرِيبٌ مِنَ الْمُحْسِنِينَ If you want the Rahmah of Allah, if you want your dua to be accepted by Allah throughout the month of Ramadan, be from the Muslims in your ibadah. Be from those who would strive not only to be muntaqi or to be Muslim only, but to be Muslim in your relationship with Allah Azza wa Jalla. Let's plan for today for Laylatul Qadr, which is a powerful night that is better than 83.3 years of ibadah. Because man hurima qayraha taqad hurim. Whoever misses that night is mahroom. And that night will not be gained by your intelligence or your hard work, but wallahi, by the tawfiq from Allah Azza wa Jalla. By your planning in advance, continue to make dua. Ya Rabbi, balighni laylatul qadr. Ya Rabbi, ja'alni fiha min al-faizin. 
it could make a big difference for you in your life in this dunya, but more in the akhirah when you leave this dunya to Allah Azza wa when we go to Al Jannah, inshallah, we'll be saying and wondering, and then later on we will be saying, Alhamdulillah, that Allah has saved us. This is indeed in this is the greatest, the ultimate winning and achievement. Not the certificates of this dunya, not the richness and the money of this dunya, but wallahi to be saved from that fire and to be admitted to a Jannah is the ultimate winning that one can achieve in his lifetime. <laughs>